President Rodrigo Duterte called on China and the U.S. to put an end to their trade row before it spirals out of control. Jenny Dolan has the report. The 34th ASEAN Summit in Bangkok, Thailand kicked off with a crossover handshake among various heads of state. There, Summit Chairman Thailand Prime Minister Prayot Chanocha urged top leaders to unite in facing regional and international threats such as the ongoing trade war between U.S. and China. The second benefit for our peoples is greater prosperity. The winds of protectionism that are battering the multilateral trading system remind us that we must hang on even stronger to one another. So we must reaffirm our determination to conclude the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, negotiations this year. RCEP will be the largest free trade area in the world and can cushion any impacts from the ongoing trade conflict between some of ASEAN's key trading partners. President Duterte likewise made the same appeal during the plenary session of the conference, urging ASEAN member countries to strengthen rules in a multilateral trading system. Duterte also urged the U.S. and China to wrap up their trade raw since it is already impacting global growth. ASEAN leaders are now targeting to finish the framework for the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, before the year ends. For RCEP, there is a higher benchmark, which is about 90 to 92 percent inclusion. In other words, more products hopefully will be included that will allow greater market access to these countries participating in RCEP. It is precisely the reality right now that's happening uh, because of this trade tension between U.S. and China that compel the ASEAN countries as well as the RCEP participating uh, countries to really fast track the RCEP so that at least in this part of the world in the region we will have this regional uh, trade, uh, free trade agreement uh, that can uh, still improve the, the trading within the region. Leaders of ASEAN member states agree to fast track work in the Code of Conduct in the South China Sea amid tensions in the area over multiple territorial claims. This comes after the elision between a Chinese vessel and a Filipino fishing boat in a recto bank last June 9. Duterte, meanwhile, thanked the Vietnam crew for rescuing the Filipino fishermen after their boat got hit by the Chinese. The president also met with Indonesian President Joko Widodo to discuss the country's exclusive economic zones, or EEZ. Pala says the two leaders were able to clarify maritime boundaries between the Philippines and Indonesia in the Mindanao and Celebes Seas. Under the 1982 United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea, both parties are entitled to a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, although these boundaries between Philippines and Indonesia overlap in a southern section of the Philippine Sea. The new agreement between the two countries on the EEZ is expected to take effect this year. After the ASEAN summit, President Duterte also made it to a point to attend the 13th Brunei Indonesia Malaysia Philippines East ASEAN Growth Summit. For News 5, Johnny Dongon, We are One News.